This is Karis Alexander with Deep Truth Media. I hope you like the format of the sharing now because I'm traveling. It's a little bit more challenging to upload the full length videos that I had been doing a few months ago, just simply because I'm having to use Wi-Fi internationally. It's a little bit more challenging and this format will allows me to upload a lot faster. And, and plus it's more, I guess, engaging and interactive. So I'm always interested in trying new technology and, and this seems to work for me while I'm traveling. I'm really happy that I'm a little bit more settled now. I just realize how much the blueprint is really working itself through my essence or essence in that, you know, the charis, the personality, the ego aspect of me and this biological vehicle, you know, it really operates as we all do under a blueprint, which is a by design. It's not uh, a blueprint upon which our essence designed for the purposes of having this physical experience in the sense that what we are experiencing on the external reflective, oh, what's showing up is all this negativity being birthed into a, a negative system. It is not a optimal design for our essence to be experiencing itself through physicality. And I, I believe that what we are experiencing for some of us at a deeper level is we're coming to the recognition that our essence has the capacity even with all that is going on on the physical world stage if one chooses has the capacity or if one has the blueprint one has the capacity to transcend this system of consciousness and so I want to speak to this latest article that I did today called Neptune the great harbinger of positive change and don't fall prey to the US opiate crisis I'm making connections here with world news world events and how celestial alignments are coinciding with a lot of the fake news and a lot of events that are transpiring on the physical world stage again to to what to circumvent your ability to know the truth of who you are and Neptune provides that element or planetary influence for each and every one of us to experience more of our essence in physicality it's the closest planet that we know of in the divine universe that is associated with our essence our quintessence. So for those of you who are new, this is my Deep Truth Media website, which I'll have a link to in the description. And you can peruse the articles that I post there. Normally, I will post an article and then do a sharing on YouTube in terms of the inner understanding and workings of what's going on in the external reflective and what is happening within myself simultaneously. It's a very interesting process. It allows me to stay deeply engaged with my essence, my quintessence, and allows me to share in that experience with all of you. And I believe that the best way to do that is through the astrology. So Neptune, the great harbinger of positive change, whole concept of not falling prey to the U.S. Op opiate crisis, which was announced by Donald Trump about a week and a half ago. So it is important to know that both Neptune and Pisces rule the deepest realms of the subconscious mind, which in essence is our eternal beingness, or however you identify with that which you are. I call that which I am at the deep core essence. You may call that which you are the deepest core, whatever resonates with you. We use words and concepts and ideas in this realm in order to understand what's transpiring here. And because we have physical bodies and minds and names and stories and constructs that we identify with, these are all tools in which we learn to understand the world in which we live in. So planetary forces are ways in which we can learn how we are wired, how our blueprints operate within this system, and how our essence interacts with our blueprint in this system of consciousness. So when these two forces come together, that is Neptune in the sign of Pisces, what we experience is an elevation or an increase in the universal vibration of love, which begins to pulsate through each and every one of us, whether we realize it or not, becomes a very strong desire to connect or reconnect to that which we are. And so there is a strong calling for the human race, the body of humanity, to align with this energy, this force, this quintessence. However, in order to merge with our essence, again, that is what I call our essence, which is love and how we define love on this physical dimension 
It's not the love that I'm speaking of, that sticky, ooey, gooey kind of attachment love, what I'm talking about. The love that I'm speaking of is that feeling of a sense of joy, a sense of peace, a sense of well-being. Any type of feel-good feeling that you can sustain over a period of time, beginning at least with five minutes, then to 10 minutes, then to 15 to 20, that's what we want to do. That's our goal if there ever was a goal, is to learn to achieve a sense of joy, a sense of peace, a sense of well-being, or even bliss for that matter. Finding a feel-good feeling is the key. However, what normally covers that feel-good feeling is what we're hiding. And Neptune, as a planetary body, allows us to experience and uncover what it is that we may be hiding about ourselves. For example, could be buried shame, anger, feelings of hopelessness, that sense of unworthiness or resentment. All these can bubble up under this Neptune phase that we are in. And again, these feelings that you may be feeling, the sense of shame or anger or feelings of hopelessness or unworthiness or resentment, these are all feelings that are not you, but you may be experiencing. And yet, you are not to be defined by these feelings of hopelessness, unworthiness, resentment, shame or anger. These are all impositions on your essence. Your essence doesn't, or that which you are, doesn't experience these sensational feelings, these negative feelings feelings. These are not a part of your essence. They are impositions on your essence. Your essence only feels the optimal, blissful experience of the purest love, that which we can define in this physical realm. So instead of denying these feelings, I encourage you to welcome them, learn from them, and then integrate them and dissolve and know that they are simply less upon which have been imposed upon you to believe and seduce you into this quagmire of insanity of experiencing this physical realm and believing that it is the real deal. Now I want to highlight a connection between world news and astrological alignments in order to confirm that most news and events in our world are simply mimicking celestial events of the great mind of this creator god power control force. Now astrologically the sun conjoined Jupiter on October 26, 2017 the same day that President Trump declares an opioid crisis as a health emergency, but requests no funds. Now, I'm not going to read into the article, but I've posted an article in the description. And here's the article. And there's a video that you can watch if you like at your leisure. But the, the importance of bringing attention to the article is that it happened on the day before Sun was to try Neptune. And I've posted a picture in the um, the article in the description but I'll just show you here from an astrological standpoint what actually happened so on the 27th on the 27th of October on the 27th of October the Sun here which is conjunct Jupiter keep in mind was trining Neptune the day after Donald Trump made his announcement and i bring this to your attention because the celestial bodies are being used to initiate changes on the physical world stage because remember it is a mind of god all these planetary bodies represent some aspect of our collective mind and so the power control force use celestial events in order to facilitate their world event in order to what to control the collective mind this collective mind of god so i wanted to show that to you to make point that it's really important not to fall prey to all of the news the fake news the world events on the physical world stage because they are just ways in which the power control system is attempting to distract you from your journey that is to come to know the truth of who you are in physicality. And this opportunity is accessible to you because of the many aspects, there are many dynamic aspects that are taking place in our solar system. And Neptune being in Pisces is one contributing factor and a very significant contributing factor in this process in terms of dissolving all consciousness programming. So I also mentioned here in this article that Jupiter conjuncts the Sun, which formed a trine to Neptune on Friday, November the 3rd, magnifying or expanding 
the Neptune trine with the sun. On the 3rd of November, that just Jupiter just conjuncting with the sun is just going to magnify that Neptunian phenomena. And this Jupiter will be a very pronounced in early December 2017 when it makes its first three trine aspects to Neptune. So this is just a precursor for what's to come. Important to understand a Neptune Pisces kind of energy, which I'll go into in this article. The why I'm bringing this to your attention is because Neptune represents our ability to rise above the demands of the ego. That is the identity, the entity that you are defined by. And when we can bring our attention to Neptune, which represents our ability to rise above the demands of this ego identity, which we are all experiencing in through these physical bodies, when we can identify with this process that is occurring within ourselves, that it entails a deep search for meaning of life or could entail the search for meaning of existence at all. This concept of uh, wanting to know the meaning of life or existence at all can become very prominent in one's life right now. And I believe one of the reasons why there is such a opioid crisis because and so many people are leaving the planet through this crisis, this opioid crisis, because there is no perceived meaning for life, no perceived meaning for this physical existence. And so while Saturn pertains to logic and reason, Neptune is our ability to connect with the highest aspect of who we are. And if we're not able to connect to the highest aspect, we will have that sense of questioning our meaning for life and the meaning of our existence. Our ability to connect with these higher aspects of Neptune really allows us to discern what is fake news, what is the deception, what are the lies that are proliferating the physical world say. We're able to manage the sense of chaos and not really knowing what is going on in the world by using that internal knowing of our essence, our quintessence. And this is what allows us to see and sense our global vulnerability. When we can see and sense the vulnerability of this existence of life, then we can put things in perspective. I often mention to you how essence, our quintessence, is vulnerable to manipulation. It can be easily seduced and manipulated. That's why this physical dimension exists, because of the, the nature of our essence in physicality, in these physical bodies through these personalities, through the ego aspect, a very strong construct, the ego. And because it is defined by the physical world and its culture and its institutional system, it can override that which you are, the point where that which you are acquiesces. And so that's the opportunity now, the opportunity for us to reclaim our power, our essence, and strengthen in the knowing and truth of who we are so that we can learn to navigate these blueprints, these personalities, having greater control of the stories that we tell ourselves and we tell others, and the world in which we are creating and the world that defines us. We can have mastery over our world creation. This is what is potentially possible for each and every one of us now. And so with Neptune returning to its home sign in Pisces, this is an epic epic shift that will last from February 3rd, 2011 until January 2026. Neptune in Pisces is a transit that only occurs every 165 years or so, a banner of time which allows us to experience new forms of art, new forms of spirituality, and the emergence of secret information or deception or fake news or lies. And so the negative side of Neptune for many will be insanity, being mentally disturbed, being highly fixated on drugs, not being able to make sense of what is going on in the world, believing in fake news, believing in the deception, believing in the lies, and experiencing that sense of chaos and not really knowing what is going on in the world. This is what happens when we become mentally disturbed, when we become unbalanced. We actually experience our sense of global vulnerability. And so Neptune is the god of the sea in astrology. Neptune is the ruler of Pisces. And in astrology, Neptune is considered a planet of inspiration, planet of dreams, of psychic receptivity. However, it's also a planet which is a 
associated with illusion and confusion. But ultimately, Neptune rules spirituality and all things subtle. Neptune is the master of the invisible realm. That is your essence, your quintessence. Neptune in Pisces is, in fact, plunging each of us into the deepest depths of ourselves so that we can connect and commune with our essence, allowing each of us to not only glimpse into the future and have what are called visceral out-of-body experiences but to actually connect to and know and experience that which we are as essence and that that which we are experiencing in the third dimensional realm is a virtual reality simulation it's becoming more and more easy to disidentify or become more aware of this ego this identity and its crisis that it's under through all the stories that you tell about yourself and that you believe about yourself. You're able to become more aware, less fixated on this identity that is the ego aspect of you that is predominantly in a crisis at this stage because it is wanting to hang on to what it knows to be true. And yet, for those of you here, you're here because I keep reminding you that you are not this ego. You are not this personality that is experiencing this physical dimension. You are not your body. That is why you are here and you continue to share in these sharings with me. We have to give thanks, imaginative energy of both Neptune and Pisces, because out of this energy, we get new ways to dance, new ways to experience music. We get new mystical experiences. We will gravitate to new energy healers and shamans and other magical talents will become predominant as we become more active in architecting our future. What is your divine gift? Now is the time to let it emerge. With Neptune and Pisces, your creativity and compassion are full force and forces to be reckoned with in order to heal yourself and heal your world and the world around you. I want you to please reach out to me if you would like an astrology reading. Your astrology chart is the best tool to help you to understand where you are in the process of transformation that is reopening your inner brain center. In addition, your astrological chart will help you to navigate your life as you learn to work with the energy that is transmuting negative energies into positive energies, which will allow you to reconnect to your essence and design a world that is in alignment with who you truly are. I want to bring your attention finally to my astrology page. I'm offering relocation astrology. It is a very profound reading because I have experienced it myself. Being in Hanoi, Vietnam, how that has really opened my world for me to experience the avatar Keras in the physical form, in a new environment, which allows me to experience more of my essence in physicality, and then being able to look at the areas in which I was living previously, how those areas in which I was living previously were really the catalyst for me to do the work that I needed to do, and that I couldn't have been here first. I needed to go to those other places and be in those other places first, like New York, where I was born, and then Vancouver, British Columbia, where I predominantly lived most of my life, and then going back to New York for my degree, and then coming back to Canada, and then spending some time overseas the past 16 months has really allowed me to disengage in this blueprint in a way that allows me to explore and experience something different now that I'm in Hanoi. Vietnam. I don't have a lot of the obstacles or challenges that I was faced with under my original blueprint. And now that I have moved to a new location and shifted my blueprint, I'm embracing a new experiences with less challenges. And that's the beauty of relocation astrology. So I encourage you to reach out to me because when you relocate your astrological birth chart to where you currently live, it will create new levels of awareness about how astrology really works, allowing you to uncover how you relate to your environment. So just by reading your newly relocated astrology chart will reflect experiences and lessons you tend to attract in this given location. Rather than your natal chart being activated through the passage of time, relocation astrology studies how your astrological chart is activated through movement in space, i.e. location. So what happens when I create a relocation chart for you? When I create a relocated horoscope for you. I set the birth location to the city of your choice, but keep the birth time accurate. That is, input your actual birth time adjusted for the local time zone of the new location. It's a 60-minute reading. 
I will advise you on the pros and cons of where you live now, and I will reveal to you optimum location or locations that you may want to consider relocating. And all through this process, I will reveal to you the best place for you to live so that you can live your best life. A relocation astrology reading, as all my readings, $197. You can send me an email with any questions, but if you want to get an astrology reading, go to my astrology predictions page here. It's at the very bottom. Got all my different astrology readings. Pick one that resonates with you. Reach out to me. I would love to do your reading. I'm always excited when I do astrology readings for my clients. I do them via Skype. It's a great opportunity for you to work with me, uh, get to know your blueprint, really to become the master over the avatar that is you and the blueprint that you are living. I thank you so much for tuning in. It truly is a glorious time.